Today we're taking a look at the Generation Selects spin-out and cordon figures from Hasbro. These are of course the repaint and minor retool of the Earthrise Sunshaker mold. There isn't really much to talk about. Uh, these are pretty much just straight recolors with the exception of this one having a different hood with the light bar. Right off the bat, um, of course, the, let me rewind this a little bit. These two characters, of course, are very, more of the obscure Transformer characters. Um, they date from the pre-Transformer Diaclone toy lines. The Sunshaker toy that we eventually got in the United States for Generation 1 usually originally came in multiple colors. And as most of the hardcore nerds know, Sunstreaker was originally supposed to be the the red figure. The red figure at Sunstreaker was supposed to be Sideswipe, and the yellow Lambor figure was supposed to be Sunstreaker. Um, but we never got them in the Generation 1 toy line or cartoons. Uh, only recently did we get Masterpiece toys, and these are the first mass-marketed action figures for these two characters. As you can see... They're identical with the exception of the light bar here and, and of course, colors. Um, they are not perfect. They actually are very, very imperfect toys. Um, I did see a lot of reviewers, as you can see, I'm already playing here with uh, Spin Out here. Um, a lot of reviewers said the hood piece fits better than it did on Sunstreaker. Mine do not. Mine actually kind of fit worse. And I've read that you can fix it with sandpaper, but I don't trust myself not to go overboard and ruin the figures. But as you can see, let's just go ahead and flip them up. They don't, the pieces don't sit flush. Now he does sit better, and that's because I've been working with it. This one, no matter how much I press down or try to manipulate it, it just refuses to line up correctly. Um, <clears throat> the other big gripe, of course, here is on Corden. He doesn't get the colored glass. You literally just get the clear glass and see inside and see all the uh, robot bits. And it is kind of a... I don't really mind it as much in this mode than I do in bot mode. And just to show you, I'm going to show you uh, with Earthrise Sunstreaker here. Now, my Sunstreaker does have the add-on kit made by JRC Design. Uh, you can find them at ebay.com forward slash str forward slash JRC Design. Um, I only got the this one particular upgrade kit, which was the spoilers and the one simple gun. Which I really like. I know some people have knocked the gun saying it looks kind of bland, but I like it. It has enough gribbles, and it is what it is. But, as you can see, they're all identical, uh, barring the light bar and the customized port. So let's go ahead, and we'll take a look at them in robot mode. Alright, so now we have them both in robot mode. And as you can see here, they are primarily just recolors. There's nothing really new or exciting about these figures. They come with the same weapon, the spoiler slash gun slash shield. Um, same body, different colors. The only exception, of course, again, is this one piece. And, you know, it is what it is. I understand Hasbro is trying to save money, and I do really think it's really cool that we got these figures. I just wish we got some sort of different accessory with them. And who knows, maybe Hasbro is going to do another accessory pack like they did with um, the Centurion drone. Go ahead and just take a look here at them. Let's go ahead. And you'll see right away. Um... This will not stay in his hands. Uh, I haven't had this issue with Spin Out or um, Sunstreaker yet, but for Cordon, um, he doesn't like to stay in his hands. Anytime I move it, it falls out. But as you can see, he does have that nice different red on black, which I do kind of like. I wish um, Spin Out got that because it would look much better. But the big drawback for this figure is you do get that clear part, which again gives him... Actually... On camera, it doesn't look that bad, I think. I think it's really cool that you would see kind of like the robot ad, abs. But, again, it just feels like they could have done a little bit more with him. He, otherwise, is the better of the two figures. Uh, the pieces all move. He gets all the same range of motion. You just can't hold on to his weapon at all. Cordon, uh, excuse me, Spin on the other hand, as you'll see here, this takes quite a bit of force to move, which means I can't really pose him, and I'm worried about even manipulating him so that he doesn't break. Um, so I don't really know what I'm going to be doing with him, if I'm going to keep him in poses, or if I'm even going to try. Maybe I'll just have him be static. -y. Um, as far as the bios go, for those of you interested, 
uh, spin out is the Energon uh, preparer, aka he's the Autobot cook. And Cordon is basically a soldier with no long term memory, or short term memory rather. Kind of like that show John Doe that was on Fox in the early 2000s, or even um, oh, that show that had a uh, Sif on it from Thor, blanking out on its name. Uh, but basically, he can't remember really anything in the short term, but he has all these really cool advanced skills to help him. And that's that's it for the bio. Let's go ahead and bring in some figures just so you can see the trio together here and see just how they compare to each other. And again, Sun Sugar does have the upgrades from JRC Design. Um, again, it is what it is. If you don't care that they're just recolors, then yeah, cool. Now, me, of course, I'm a Sun Sugar fan, as you know from watching this page, so I had to grab these. But if you if you want something that's different from what's already out there on the mass market, I can't really say get these. They are just recolors with one exception of a retool. And the quality is not that nice. Now, they do feel like they're better quality plastic than I have gotten from a lot of the Generation Selects over the past, um, well, ever since Hasbro started doing them. The plastic does feel, does feel more secure. And I don't know if that's because I got mine from Entertainment Earth versus directly from Hasbro. But, uh, again, if you're just looking for, if you're looking for something new and fun and exciting, they don't really hold up that much to it. If you're looking for completing the army or if you're a Sunstreaker fan or if you want to collect the Sunstreaker clones from IDW's run this could be a cool little set as well um, so that's it um, on Spinout and Cordon thank you very much for watching uh, like, subject, uh, subscribe, comment tell me what you want to see, what you don't want to see I do have some more Transformers videos coming out and I will be putting up some Marvel figures as well